Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad with the Synergy Lifestyle Academy and here on Synergy Cafe. And I've got another guest on the line. She just came in and uh, let me see here. What does she do? Her name is Patricia. I think she's a coach. Are you there, Patricia? Hi, ah, yeah, I'm a coach also. Patricia Corey is my name. Patricia Corey. See, you're a coach. I'm a coach. I'm an author. I'm a spiritual uh, teacher, if you will. There and, you go. Uh, that works. I uh, take people to sacred sites, things like that. Well, before we get into that, who who are you? You married? You got kids? You single and wild and crazy, or where do you live and all that kind of stuff? I no, I was married when I was too young to, to understand it, and uh, <laughs> I am now. Uh, I was uh, I lived in Rome, and I was mad in love with a Roman. He was my soulmate, so I moved there because I I knew my soulmate was waiting for me in, in Italy, and I went to find him, and I had thirty. Wonderful years with him, and we broke up, and now I've moved to Paradise on Earth. It's the Azores Islands off the coast of Portugal. Oh, wow. And I'm here. Um, I swim with dolphins. I hang out as much as possible in the water and living in a, in a very quiet, beautiful space. Just fascinated right by the Internet. Place. I'm here in the United States next to Canada in Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Oh, 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 go, go, go. <laughs> So on the other side, it is, it's actually kind of nice out today. It's a uh, blue sky and the snow is starting to melt because it's getting to be that time. And Do you ever get to Costa Rica? Never been. Uh -huh. But, you know, the Azores is way, way up, way, way up. We are. Yeah, but you said you, said you do events and, and retreats and stuff. So Because I'm going down there in, uh, on the 20th of this month because I'm looking at building an event center down there for, oh, for retreats and stuff like Here's that. Paradise also. Yeah. So what is it you do? You're uh, like a life coach or a spiritual coach? Is that is my understanding? Well, what do I do exactly? When I love when people ask me what I do exactly because I'm not quite sure what I do. I understand. I, uh, yeah, I'm a coach. I'm a, I'm a clairvoyant. I've been a clairvoyant since childhood. And so a lot of my work and my books are very much focused on uh, the paranormal, the alternative, uh, Extra dimensional intelligence is something I'm sure. very involved with. And uh, in the meantime, I, I like to take people to sacred sites or, or yeah, do workshops uh, okay. as well in sacred sites uh, to explore the earth, to understand where we live, what we, what's here and what has been here before. Yeah, like the, I was uh, down in Tulum, Mexico, and the Mayan pyramids and stuff are down there. Yeah. It's very interesting. And, and they've got these big spheres in Costa Rica. They're like six feet around, big giant spheres of... Where do they come from? Who I'm dying to see those spheres. I have no idea about those spheres, but that, that is a very interesting. I mean, oh, how many it is. are there? Do you know? Like I, I don't. I, I researched it a little bit and poked around, but uh, it's it's interesting. I go to I used to go to Bali a lot, and they got multiple temples there, very spiritual place, and I want to go to Stonehenge someday and see what that's all about. I've never seen any pyramids. Well, I'm taking a group there in July. Uh, very cool. Because the thing about Stonehenge is there's a systematic attempt to shut down all these sites so there's a big hubbub going on about uh, putting a thoroughfare underneath Stonehenge which is so ridiculous they've got farmland on each side of the of the sacred site right. and certainly they can build a road around it but they've said that uh, they because the existing roads are too traffic and too limited they're going to go under it in my opinion they want to break the energy of it so nowadays, if you want to see Stonehenge, you have to go, they give you a walkie-talkie and a microphone, and you have to stand far from the stones and listen yeah. to this rat that's uh, in 27 languages. You should but, be able to go there and touch them. Well, that's what, when I <laughs> when I bring the groups, and people who, who lead sacred groups there, uh, we get private access. It's tricky, but we manage it. So my Very group cool. goes right inside it. Yeah, I think I, I think I know exactly where I'm going to put this interview when I'm done. I've got a website called Syner um, Synergy Lifestyle Academy, and one of the categories is spirituality. So I think that's where we're going to put you. Well, that would be wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Very cool. So how do you do your work? You obviously do some in-person stuff, too, but do you do online type of uh, conversation and such? Skype? Yeah, online? well, I was a healer, a hands-on healer for whew, 25, 30 years. I had a center in Rome in the day called Lightworks. It was the first New Age center ever, ever to appear in Rome. Wow. And um, then a life took me on a different road, so I closed the center. But I, it got to the point where I just couldn't do all the hands-on work anymore. Right. So I teach, I work in groups, I do healings, I do readings. 
uh, clairvoyant readings. And recently I started doing them on the uh, over the web on Skype mm -hmm. and amazed to find that I can still pick up and perceive the energies of people through the technology, which is very exciting. Being well, able to reach them across the world. Well, if you think about it, it's probably just coming through the cosmos. It probably, you know. Yeah, the cosmos via <laughs> some, out there. Just make the connection. So look at technology. Yeah, they're really when you get into the big stuff. There's really no uh, time and time and distance that no longer exists. You know. Yeah, that's one of the benefits. I mean, so, there are a lot of things that I, I don't love about technology, but definitely the fact that here you are in Minnesota and here I am in Portland. Yeah, there is uh, that. that. I have a love-hate relationship with it, too, because it, it breaks yeah. the humanity kind of thing. But this is the closest thing to actually having a cup of coffee together. That's why I call it Synergy Cafe. <laughs> I love that. I wish it had been around when my mother was still alive, yeah. so we could have done that every day. Fascinating. So um, you said you're an author. Do you have a copy of your book you can show us? Yeah, I do. My latest book is called The New Syrian Revelations, Galactic Prophecies for the Ascending. Why don't you hold it uh, off? Why don't you hold it closer to the line, kind of move it over a little oh, bit. Sorry. There you go. There you go. A new, new Syrian Revelations. Revelations. My 14th book. The subtitle oh. is Galactic Prophecies for the Ascending Human Collective, which is a subject that's on everybody's mind right now. It's like, what is ascension? How do I experience it? Yada, yada. So it's full of pretty... Whew, out there information. Did you ever read the Celestine Prophecy? Way back when I was young. Yeah. Yeah. I did too when I was getting on when I was getting on my spiritual path. I was looking for some I wanted to learn something and then I got it and I go, This is a fiction book. What the hell? And then all of a sudden I realized, wait a minute, this is fiction talking about the reality, the nonfiction. And I really well, got into it. One of my books is called The Emissary and the, the information it had to be told in fiction because it's too hard for people to get their head around something. Right. So when you use fiction as the vehicle, you can say a lot more. I get sometimes. it. Wasn't it uh, Emissary of Light? Was that Jimmy Twyman? That's you know, right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he was. Yeah, uh, no, my book is called The Emissary. It's, <coughs> it's about a psychic woman who has messages from the whales for humanity. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, no time to start coughing. Yeah, okay. You need a drink of water or something? <laughs> or a shot of tequila? <laughs> if you don't have it nearby, or I would. I don't drink anymore. I gave it up. So yeah, I meant the water. <laughs> <laughs> I drink that a lot. So before no, I ask, I don't drink it anymore either. It's just like that was for another time. It's uh, maybe as you get older, it's just too hard to get over. It's definitely that, and then you kind of wonder what. The, I, I see people still doing this. Like, why do you go out and spend two hundred dollars every Friday, Saturday night, and wake up on Monday with a hangover and dread driving to work? Why do you do that? <laughs> I think also that if you are on a spiritual path, which since you're putting this on your spiritual page, we can go in that direction. Yeah, uh, it's just your. You're, you're 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 refining your energy. It's just there's no place for being blasted and all of the toxicity in your body. So yep, exactly. End up getting more uh, what do they call it a detoxing and all that kind of stuff. That's happened with me. So I quit drinking like I think 25 years ago or something like that. So whenever I even sense somebody having alcohol, it's very obvious to me that they're that that's starting to influence their personality. Yeah, and I mean, let's face it, some people are, are romantic, mushy alcohol drunks, let's say. Some people get very hostile when they drink. It's, you know, there's no denying it, it alters your mood. And to yeah. be honest, I'm in a true, good true. mood most of the time. I like where There you go. Change your state. That's what Tony Robbins does. <laughs> <laughs> so before I ask the big why, I like my big W question. That's my little W I make with my fingers. Why? Before, I'm going to ask you why you're doing what you're doing. <laughs> and so. Is there any way to get a hold of you? Has you got like a, a website or something that you can mention? And then I'll also put the link in the in the blog post and such? Sure. My, my website is www.patriciacorey.com. And my name is C-O-R-I, my last name, patriciacorey.com. And I'm also all over, well, maybe not as much as you, but I have Facebook and YouTube. I'm really sure. learning how to use the media to reach people. So I can be found. Lots of interviews also up yep. on YouTube. To me, the, it's all just, uh, basically, I call it internet real estate. I kind of just go out and get all my little domains because I want to capture, my, my brand name is Magic Brad. So when you Google Magic Brad as one word, you see everything I've done since way back. <laughs> okay, I will definitely look it up. Well, here's my big why question. Why are you doing this as opposed to why aren't you like an elementary school teacher or doing uh, tours to, to Rome or why, 
why are you doing this kind of work? I think it's because ever since I was a child, I had this faculty that was nourished in me by my mom. And I saw so many things growing up that were not, let's say, visible, not visible necessarily to anyone else. And uh, had communication with the spirit world and uh, started questioning life beyond our planet, the real meaning of life, the purpose of life. Mm -hmm. And uh, at a young enough age, I found my mission, which was to serve in this way, to be a teacher, to, to open people's minds as much as I can, and okay. to explore. And that's, so this for you wasn't yeah. necessarily some kind of like, aha, I should do this. It's kind of like been your life path for quite a while. Absolutely. Oh, very yeah, cool. Absolutely. So you kind of yeah. pioneer, blaze the trails for the people that are wondering, why isn't my life working? <laughs> well, you know, the most important thing, that, in my opinion, the most important thing that you can do in your life is to find out what your mission is. Because if you don't have one, you can really just waffle around quite a lot. It's you know, it's, inter life. it's interesting you bring that up because I was just talking about it. My business is affiliate marketing. I work with people and get them into affiliate marketing so they can take advantage of the Internet and be time have time freedom and location freedom and financial freedom. And I was... I was targeting my wrong audience, so I've been doing a lot of stuff, but I wasn't getting the response back. I'm thinking, why not? And I started realizing I was targeting the wrong audience, and my purpose, I believe, in life is I'm a connector. Like what I'm doing here with you is I'm connecting people with, that I, I may not have any interest in them at all, but I'm connecting you with whoever is out there you know, to, to do what it is you do. So I'm a, I'm, I go to parties and I see somebody, I go, these two guys are supposed to connect for some reason. That's a wonderful gift. That yeah. is a mission too. But I got to get back on it because I end up losing it. I start forgetting and I'm thinking my mission is to, you know, get people to be uh, uh, self-employed. That's not really what I'm supposed to be doing. So I, I'm honing it back in. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to sign this one off and then I, what I can do is beam it up to the universe and let uh, people find it out there on the internet. And if when you see it out there, if you could share it also, I've got little share buttons on the pages and stuff. That's the whole synergy concept of one hand washing the other and uh, rising tide lifts all boats. Thank you. I can't wait to get the link and it'll be up on my YouTube and Facebook. I'm sure people will be delighted to meet you and, Wonderful. and feel that connector. I should, that I should have it done within an hour. But if you want to stay on, we can chat a little further. Other than that, I'm going to sign this one off and beam it up to the universe. All Thanks. Right. Thank you. And the crowd goes wild. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia.